this area could have been an additional unit, but the designers made sure that you enjoy a great swimming pool amenity space. Hi, this is Jake Bautista and we'd like to welcome you to a pristine and centrally located modern townhome development for sale located here near Horseshoe Village bordering San Juan and Quezon City. So this property is also very near to EDSA and we're excited to show you a model unit. So to give you an idea, this is a multi-unit property and we're gonna begin by taking a look at the amenity space where we have a swimming pool area. Let's go! One of the things that I liked about this development is how wide the access road is. So you see that there's plenty of space between the units on this side of the development and then on the other side. Right now, only one side has units built, but there's a future development on the other side. But I just wanted to illustrate the size of the road. But right now, let's take a look at the very nice amenity area here. I'd consider this a barbecue area, a place where you can entertain guests. So you see the space. They even have a powder room restroom here on the other side and then you have your pool area so this is a nice way to maximize the development this could actually have been used to have another unit but of course to have a better quality of life and a nicer experience for all the residents this was allotted as an amenity space okay now let's head on over towards the unit let's go now we're back let's talk about the size of the units the floor areas range from about 290 to 310 square meters and then the lot areas range from about 56 to 70 square meters so come on let's go So it's a secure and gated development. So this is already an open parking area. For two vehicles, completely covered. You have a faucet here if you want to have your car wash here in your garage space. This is where you have your water pump. You know, just as a note, this dab brand for the water pump this is quite expensive and one of the top uh, pump brands also and then let's check out the service area here so you have a small kitchenette and then on the left you have a bath space with the water closet and then on this side you have an additional area so this can have the bed and then this is an additional storage area for your staff so it's up to you how you want to maximize the space if you don't have staff this is an additional storage area also 
And then this is also where you have your circuit breaker already. So well-organized space, you can also maximize this area by the way as a laundry space. And now we're here at the main door. Great design by the way for the vertical wood slats here. Okay. Now welcome to your beautiful home. So you're welcome by a foyer space. You can use this as an area to entertain guests and or you can use this as a display area. I can imagine having like a few tables here. Right now we have this so that you have an idea on the size of the space. Another great aspect is having this large tempered glass window so that you have all that natural light through the main entry of your home. Let's now head on over towards the second level. So you have natural wood here, tempered glass, nice interior design touches. I immediately noticed this because you can have this as an area to display, for example, some plants or other ornaments. And then here, you have your living, dining, and kitchen amenity space. So let's begin on this side. What I noticed right away is there's so much natural light. Even if you turn off all these lights, it's almost the same in terms of the brightness during the daylight. Now you can have your living room set on this side. And then on this side, you can have your dining set. Okay? You can have potentially even a circular table. And another great feature is you have a sliding door right here. I'm just stepping out here so you have an idea on the size of the balcony. So it's a nice additional touch for your amenity space. And then of course, you have your main kitchen here. You already have a Daikin split type air conditioning unit. And then a built-in dual sink here at the countertop. Really well made, well cut also. And then there's a space here for a stool. And then there's additional storage also. So nice meal prep area. And the color combination is very clean and minimalist. You already have built-in uh, a range hood, a cooktop, and then an oven, and a microwave. All the, these are Ladger Mania branded, and then additional pantry space all throughout. And of course, you have an inverter whirlpool refrigerator. Okay. And for guests, of course, you have a powder room. So here's another view coming from the powder room area. And then nice ceiling height also. Now we head on over towards the third level where you have your primary bedroom. Now what I noticed also is they made sure in terms of the designers of this property to have lots of windows along the staircase, which is important because that gives all that ambient light. throughout the property. And now we're here at the third level. You see that there's a change already in the flooring. You have this natural parquet wood. And then this cool herringbone design in terms of the arrangement of the wood. And then in terms of the size, this is approximately similar to the size of the living and dining area downstairs. 
and this is completely dedicated to your master bedroom so you can have a king or queen sized bed right here television set on this side that's why you have that cable provision and then this is a nice touch having this frame around the window i think this is one of the first a uh, few times that I've seen a design like this, uh, it gives an added depth and character to the windows. And uh, also, so just to take a look also, the, the windows have a wooden grain design and it already has screens. You have a split type air conditioning unit also already. And then let's take a look at your walk-in closet and bath space. So here to your left, you have your walk-in closet area. So I like this combination, having frosted glass on one side and then the mirror on the other. So, key to inspect, very smooth in terms of the mechanism. And then what's nice is if you have two mirrors on both sides, you know you're familiar with that that creates like an endless mirror optical illusion right so this it's good that they had this frosted and then this is the only one that's reflective and then of course you have your dual vanity sink space bravat in terms of the sinks is a great brand also for bath fixtures and then you have a tempered glass shower enclosure. I'm just stepping in so you have an idea on the size. Okay. They made sure to have an exhaust here even though you have such a large window already. And then here, you have an additional storage space. I like how intelligently they hid this away. You almost don't notice it. And now let's take a look at the next level. We're taking a look now at the second and third rooms of the house. So let's begin here. So this bedroom it's the second room in the house and it's very unique. It's a corner room and you can't really fit a king-sized bed here. You can just have like a single or a semi-double bed. But what's nice is it feels so intimate and still well lit. And those windows give it that feeling of space. So on this side, you have like a bay window. So you can potentially even have like cushions here and sit here and like read the book. And this is nice. This is one of the first times I've seen a setup like this wherein the bay window was converted into like a desk. So you have that great vantage point while you're doing your work, okay? Also excellent if the person who's gonna be using this room is like a student, okay? And then you have an ensuite bathroom. Split type air conditioning units already included. This is a nice touch. They made sure to still have not natural lighting, even with the size of this bathroom. And they were still able to fit a nice shower enclosure also with that tempered glass. Of course, in terms of privacy, you could have this potentially uh, with a rolling screen in the future because it's right beside the shower area from the angle you can't really be seen from but just of course as an added precaution so we're here now at the third room so quite similar in size as the last room but this was still maximized and given a larger feeling of space because of the oversized windows. So 
it's this is almost floor to ceiling already and then what's nice is this has plenty of storage and you see the depth of the cabinets so the depth of the cabinets is important because you need to be able to fit like suits or um, dresses and then you have your third bathroom it's an ensuite bathroom once again floor to ceiling tiling very clean design and then of course we're going to take a look now at the fifth level of the house This area could potentially have like a light fixture because you have this high ceiling space. And then you have the entertainment area or can be considered the fourth bedroom of the house. Just as an idea, this room can actually be maximized as the primary or master bedroom if it's your preference to be at the top floor but this can also be a great amenity space so you can have like a small couch here lots of ideas it's up to you how you want to maximize it but i said this can really be a bedroom because it has its ensuite bathroom When I go through homes, sometimes I think how it compares potentially to like a hotel that uh, in Metro Manila and you see that the finishes of the bathroom here are quite premium and not just the, the quality of the materials, I'm also talking about the feel and the combination of the colors. And of course, here's a great amenity space here. you have your balcony roof deck. So there's an area here. This can also be a great outdoor barbecue area. This can also be a nice amenity space. You can have a table here, a couple of chairs, even like four to six chairs and just gather here with friends and family. And then you have a nice view already. You can see San Juan already from this side. And Edza is also very near. And that caps off our quick house tour. for joining us in this house tour and if you want to know more about this property or visit it in person please check out the details in the description below and if you have properties that you'd like to feature through our channel you can send us an email at metroguiderealty at gmail.com you can also follow us and send us a message through instagram and facebook and now also on tiktok once again my name is jake bautista from metroguide realty thank you for watching and we look forward to bring you clarity, quality, and convenience in finding a great Metro Manila home for you and your family. Contact us today in the email and number shown here to schedule a property viewing. You can also click the description below for the property details. Don't forget to click that subscribe button so that you can get notified of our future videos. Thanks for watching and we look forward to bringing you and your family a great Metro Manila home.